Okay, so we're using an endoscope and we're working on a 2006 Chevy Malibu. And I've gone and let's see if I can get this on the screen to show you. Show you what we've done here. Okay, so I have the little netbook there on the floor. And I have the glove box flipped down. And then inside, behind the glove box, is the access door to where the cabin air filter is supposed to be. Uh, we do have the access door on this vehicle, but uh, GM did not put the cabin air filter in this car. So, anyway, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the cabin, cabin air filter access door to get inside of the blower case. We're going to go look around with this endoscope. Alright, straight ahead you can see the, that's the uh, air intake from the cowl. And that's a screen to catch all the debris. You can see a lot of leaves and little helicopters and stuff stuck in there. Alright, what else do we see here? Ooh, what's that? Looks like the blower fan right there. Let me see if I can turn it on. Oh yeah. Yep, that's the blower motor. So let me adjust the camera a little bit. Put it down and stick it in. Oh yeah, definitely. Let me turn it back on again. Yep. Yep, there's the cone in the center of the fan. So that's uh that's what you see when you go into the cabin air filter door and look down. We'll try and rotate the camera around a little bit. What's that? Uh, that's the probably the door to block off fresh air and recirc. Let me try it out. Yep, that's what it is. It goes ahead and it blocks huh, blocks the fresh air intake. So it'll recirculate the air from inside the car. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, so now it's going to suck from inside. Very cool. Okay, so we're back. We're back working on the 2006 Chevy Malibu. And we're going to go down through the left center vent. 
And we've already gone in through the air box where the cabin air filter goes. Now I want to see what's in here. Alright, that's a little door that opens and closes for the top vent. The main vent. That's a manual control there. Keep going in. That looks like something. No, okay, that is the door moving for uh, controlling which outlets work. I'm going to turn it to, right now it's set for dash panel only. Now it's set for a blend um, dash and floor. Now it's floor only. I can't see if that's moving still or not. That changes it to the fog and floor. And that's defog only. Looks like it's still moving for all the positions. That well. Uh, Alright, that's dash vent only. Kind of looks like I have to go in and go down, so. I'm going to try to bend this camera a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Oop, there's the door that controls hot and cold. Now it's all the way cold. You can see the evaporator. Now it's half, you know, that's about halfway, that is halfway, and that's heat only, so somewhere in there, I guess down in that area right there must be the heater core, there we go, now I can see the evaporator, ah, ah looks like it's going to the wrong side. I'll try to get down in the out of that There we go, now it's going down towards the evaporator. I'm just making some adjustments to the LED lights to try and make it clearer, but now I'm rotating it. This thing had zoom. Just gotta move it in.
That was pretty cool. So it looks like to get to the evaporator, you got to go into the center vent and then go down. Makes sense. Next time, I got to try and find the heater core. See where that is. So, all right. Very cool try doing this again maybe next time we'll find the heater core all right very interesting